This is my top 10 multicultural players of the last 25 years. Clears both Tarrant and Revolt, bounces on its point. Montagna could kick a goal. Montagna! He's got two. At number 10, I'll start with Daniel Kerr. His father's from India, and certainly he, I class him as one of my toughest opponents. Um, when he's up and going and at his best, he's powerful, explosive and hard to stop. Premiership player, All-Australian, he's one of my current favourite players. Rosa doing well. Kerr kept going in the right direction. Heads towards a square. Not a bad kick from he, Daniel he, Kerr. Doesn't need a teammate. Goes bang. Kicks the goal and it's a beauty. Now Kerr can keep going. And does. And does some more. And some more. Surely he couldn't from 48. Oh, he has. At number nine, I have Savrocca. Italian parents, Savrock is one of my favourite players. 13th on the all-time goal-kicking list and certainly watching him on Anzac Day and kicking bags of goals for Collingwood was something I enjoyed watching when I was growing up. At number eight is Peter Dacos, known as the Macedonian Marvel. He was also one of my idols as a kid. His awesome skills and freakish goal kicking ability made him a player that I enjoyed watching growing up. Premiership player, Copeland Trophy winner, multiple Australian, Peter Dacos comes in at number eight. Good kick by Lehman into the breeze. Dacos stays down at the back, it's knocked away by Keyes. Here's the magician, near the boundary line. 30 metres out, Peter Dacos. Three kicks, three goals! Not wasting any time getting the ball moving. Great bump by Darren Malay. In comes Brown. Collingwood lifting. Brown right on the boundary line. Back to Malay, likewise. Dacos nearly runs out of room. Oh. He's goal! Magnificent goal! Peter Dacos, the champ. At number seven, I have Jim Steins. A success out of Ireland. Jim Steins was a 1991 Brownlow medalist, multiple best and fairest winner, and all Australian. A ruckman ahead of his time. His running capacity and skills for a ruckman was terrific to watch when I was growing up. Sense of urgency suddenly in this Hawthorne outfit. Steins in from the side. After Cousins had kicked three goals. Steins! Oh! Jimmy, I didn't think he could get that high off the ground. Short. Well, I don't know about this. Steins getting back. They might get away with it, Melbourne. Love it? No. Slow motion getting the ball onto the boot. Tried to tap it out to Stein. Stein's going to get another chance. He's got a goal after all of that. At number six, I have West Coast Eagles' Glenn Jakovic. Second generation Australian of Croatian parents, Jakovic was known for his duels with Wayne Carey. Two-time Premiership player, AFL Hall of Fame member and All-Australian, Glenn Jakovic was a well-built centre-half back who I loved his battles with Wayne Carey and dominating some of the key forwards of the competition. Leeds now. Matera goes elsewhere, squares it oh. up, it was a two on one. But the one was Jakovic and he took the mark. It's in trouble, hand passes back to Jakovic. Jakovic, 50 metres out, unloads. <laughs> and Big Jack brings the place down. <laughs> oh. At number five, it's Carlton's Anthony Koutafidis. Of Italian and Greek descent, he's been named in both the Greek and Italian teams of the century. One of the most powerful and athletic players to ever play the game, he could play in any position and could dominate games. Bradley, a little hand pass. Clappe on the turn. Kuda Fides! Oh. Good play by Alessio. He left Kuna in that time. Brings it wide. Oh, good, good mark by Kuda Fides. Read that. Williams on the left. Kunahan having a big night. Left hand handball of beauty. Kuda Fides. Can he balance up and kick it? It's low. It's close. He's got it. At number four, I've gone a little bit biased, but I have Nick Rewalt. Not many people would know that his father, Joe, was born in Germany. But Nick will certainly go down as one of St Kilda's great players. A five-time best and fairest winner, a great captain, and one of the best on-field players that St Kilda's had. Nick Rewalt certainly deserves his spot at number four. Goes down a war time, but look out! Oh, Rewalt, remarkable! He does. 
It's a floater. Gibson. Rebound dives. He played it. Burgoyne and Schoenmaker's in there. Spills to Montagna. Rewalt on his non-preferred left. He's very adequate at this. At number three, I've Peter Matera from the West Coast Eagles. His father was born in Italy and an indigenous mother, Peter Matera is known as one of the best ever wingmen. Playing in the awesome West Coast Eagles side of the 90s, he was a superstar. He won a Norm Smith medal, best and fairest, and was a dual premiership player. 3-2, Katz as Barnes wins it, but straight to the run of Matera from 55. He sets sail for home with a mighty kick. What a goal. Worked under the ball by McGrath. Quick hands from Brennan, too oh. quick, but it comes back to Matera. Matera on the 50, he could kick this. Matera, it's going to be a goal. At number two, I have Mark Rusciuto. Known for his Italian heritage, he is one of the toughest and best players to represent the Adelaide Crows. An eight-time All-Australian, Premiership player, and an AFL Hall of Fame member, Mark Rusciuto is one of my idols as a player who I played against and loved watching. At number one, I have Carlton's Stephen Silvani. From one of the great Italian families, his father Sergio was also a Carlton legend. An AFL Team of the Century fullback, over 300 games, multiple All-Australian, best and fairest winner, Premiership player, and used to have the task of playing on the grateful forwards of his era, Stephen Silvani is a worthy number one. Kicks one high, Silvani. Half back to half forward. Oh, courageous mark. Magnificent Stephen Silvani. Goes towards Dunstall. Silvani goes with him. Oh, good mark. Silvani has lifted. He's kicked to half forward. Starsevich. Oh, Silvani! 